Iran regime ranks first for executions per capita. On the World Day Against the Death Penalty, it's crucial to remember that Iran holds the infamous record of the world's top executioner per capita. It also ranks first for the most number of juvenile executions in the world. Women are also victims of the death penalty in Iran, with at least nine women having been executed since mid-June. Since Hassan Rouhani took office as president, Iran's regime has executed at least 3,800 people. In fact, as early as 1980, Rouhani, as a lawmaker, had called for dissidents to be made an example of by being hanged in public. Rouhani told a parliament session on July 13, 1980, conspirators should be hanged in Friday prayers for people to see them and to have more of an impact. Widespread presence of Iranian regime's IRGC Quads Force in Iraq For the past week, Iraq has seen protests over the poor state of people's livelihoods. A key slogan in the nationwide popular uprising since October 1st has been the call to expel Iran's regime and its agents from Iraq and end the mullahs meddling in Iraq's affairs. According to specific information obtained by the MEK within the Iranian regime, the regime's embassy and consulate in Baghdad, Basra, Kabala and Najaf are under the control of the Revolutionary Guards and its Quads Force. This includes the Ambassador, Brigadier General Iraj Masjedi, and the Deputy Ambassador, Brigadier General Musa Alizada Tabatabi. Numerous Quads Force officers are based at the consulate in Kabala. The top Quads Force commander at the consulate is an IRGC officer named Omid Azadi. The head of the regime's consulate in Basra is IRGC Brigadier General Ahmed Sepapush, who was previously based at the IRGC base in Kyrgyzstan. Brigadier General Kasim Mizari is based at the regime's consulate in Napash. Iran's security forces kill 19-year-old for not having motorcycle license. Iranian security forces beat a 19-year-old man to death because he was not carrying his motorcycle license. The young man, identified as Ali Kudi, used his motorcycle to carry passengers as a way to make ends meet in the northwestern city of Ermia. According to a source close to his family, Ali was brutally kicked in the head by an agent on September 30th and passed away on October 7th after seven days in a coma. Iran's poverty line surpasses the 80 million rial mark. State-run media outlets reported on Tuesday that Iran's food basket, more commonly known as the poverty line, has surpassed the 80 million rial mark, equal to around $690 according to the street exchange rates. According to these reports, the baseline paycheck of most workers in Iran was approved at 15 million rials per month by the regime's High Court of Labor back in March 2019. Back then, Iranian regime officials claimed they had raised workers' wages to half the poverty line. In less than six months, however, this amount has dropped to less than one-fifth of the poverty line index and the people's purchasing power decreased at a similar rate.